Well, problem number two. If a battery contains uh, 0.355 grams of cadmium and excess nickel uh, oxide hydroxide, how long can it operate if it draws 1.25 milliamps of current? And you're given the balanced redox reaction below. All right, so because this question uh, mentions current and how long, there's only one equation that deals with that. That's n is equal to it over f. We know that i is amps, so that's going to be 0 0.00125 amps, and we know Faraday's constant already, 96,500 uh, coulombs per mole of electrons. The question is asking us to solve for time, so t is going to be equal to n times f over i. All right, so all we need is n. Remember that n is the mole of electrons that is determined uh, stoichiometrically. So let's go ahead and get it. You are told that you have an excess amount of the nickel precursor. So the 0.355 grams cadmium is going to be our limiting reactant here. So 0 0.355 grams of cadmium times 1 mole of cadmium divided by 112.41 grams. Now that's going to be equal to 0 0.00316 moles of cadmium solid. The redox reaction is right here. That's cadmium zero going to cadmium hydroxide. And in this uh, reaction, cadmium is two plus. So for cadmium to go to cadmium 2 plus, it's got to give up two electrons. So my mole to mole ratio of the electrons to cadmium is a, is a 2 to 1 ratio. So 0 0.00316 moles of cadmium times 2 moles of electrons for every 1 mole of cadmium. That's going to give me the value of N, which is 0.00632 moles. And when all is said and done, you should get a time uh, of 487904 seconds, everybody, which is approximately 136 hours. That's an awfully uh, nice uh, lifetime for a battery to operate, everybody. 136 hours. And if you look at these elements, it's nickel cadmium. So I'm sure you've heard of uh, batteries that are called uh, nickel cadmium or cadmium nickel batteries, which are uh, very nice batteries that help to power devices such as your uh, smartphones and cameras. All right, so that's our lecture, everybody, from electrochemistry. I want to thank you for your time, and I'll see you next time on educator.com.